A ranger sits on a wall in front of a large skull. Have you ever dreamed of going on an African safari or riding elephants in Asia? We're going to see those same animals today as we dive into the fossil record. The location of the search? Right here in Eastern Oregon. An arid landscape with a pyramid-shaped hill. Get your bearings. Migration across the Bering Land Bridge and its implications on the world we live in today. A variety of fossilized bones in cabinets and display cases. You might be surprised to learn that many of the animals we could never imagine living in North America today actually found their inception right here in these lands. To name just a few examples, early camels, rhinos, horses, and tapirs originated right here in North America sometime between 40 to 50 million years ago. To understand the world we live in today, we must set our sights on a remote place you might only vaguely remember learning about in school the Bering Strait. A map of Alaska and Russia showing the Bering Strait. At the narrowest point of the Bering Sea, it separates present-day Russia and Alaska by only 55 miles. Below the surface of the water lies an area of land that was once known as the Bering Land Bridge. Early in the Cenozoic era of the past 65 million years, Present-day Russia, the Bering Strait, and Alaska were part of one continental landmass that stood well above sea level for much of 50 to 60 million years. A ranger sits on a wall in front of a large skull. As the sea level rose and fell over time, the Bering Land Bridge fluctuated as a submerged landmass and a viable terrestrial ecosystem that connected the North American and Eurasian landmass ecosystems. A variety of fossils, mostly skulls. Numerous plant and animal species migrated from one landmass to the other using this bridge. It was only about one million years ago that the Bering Strait landmass became fully submerged by rising oceans and the Bering Sea separated the two continents as we see them today. Ocean waves. A ranger examines a fossil jaw. Until that submergence, what new ventures did this land bridge have in store for our world? When early camels, horses, rhinos, and tapirs were first evolving in North America, the climate was warmer and wetter. A mural of a lush jungle. A cooling drying trend throughout the Cenozoic era led to changes in habitat and vegetation that could no longer support these species. Murals of drier landscapes and a display of fossil skulls. This environmental change might have been the impetus for these animals to spread out across the continent towards the Bering Strait and the Eurasian landmass in search of more fitting habitats. In North America, this climatic change spelled the end for these species and many others as well. The migration across the Bering Land Bridge of camels, rhinos, tapirs, and other North American natives allowed them to live on and evolve into the species that we see today in Asia and Africa. The Bering Strait was not a one-way road. The horns of a giraffe deer and a photo of bighorn sheep. You might be surprised to learn that deer, elk, and moose of the family Cervidae are Asian immigrants. Bighorn sheep, mountain goats, and bison can all trace their bovid family tree to Asia as well. They made their crossing on the Bering Land Bridge in search of more fitting habitats here in North America. A mural of a trumpeting elephant and fossilized elephant bones. Many animals made the crossing from Asia, but were unsuccessful in a new and changing climate. Groups of elephants, long before the woolly mammoths of the Ice Age, migrated from Asia and made North America their home about 15 million years ago. Hyenas also made the journey to these lands, but only remained briefly. The climate continued to change in unfavorable ways for these migrants though conditions were still favorable enough in their lands of origin that we still get to see them today. A rhinoceros. There are a countless number of species who made this migration across the land bridge, yet became extinct everywhere despite their effort. The ranger points to a large skull behind her. The skull has prominent, sharp teeth. Entelodonts, like this massive, meat-eating, pig-like predator, migrated across the land bridge from Asia to North America. These and a vast number of other species did not adapt or migrate quickly enough to outpace extinction. The ranger walks through a room of cabinets and opens one. 
she examines the fossils inside we can only catch glimpses into the lives they led and the world in which they persevered through the fossil record as the tectonic plates beneath our feet continue to move slowly and imperceptibly and as the climate continues to change around us you can look across landscapes and imagine pyramid-shaped sheep rock is surrounded by a landscape of sage and bunch grass what will this look like in millions of years Will new land masses emerge and new migration patterns accompany them? What will survive to be viewed as normal? And what, from our time, will only be imagined from the fossil record? Get your bearings. Migration across the Bering Land Bridge and its implications on the world we live in today. Written, filmed, and edited by Kaylee Schrader. Music and sounds from Joystock and BBC Sound Effects. Images from Google Maps, Dimitri Vetsikas at Pixabay, Wolfgang Hasselman, Rowan Macheka, and Nicole Rayford at Unsplash. <laughs>